Okay, so the question is, I understand how negative 2 minus a negative 4 equals a positive 6, but they wrote, but how? How is this true? Well, first of all, we should be clear that this, this is actually incorrect. Um, perhaps what the student meant to write was 2 minus a negative 4. So we'll go over that first, and then we'll look at the correct answer to this problem. So 2 minus a negative 4. Um, you might hear some people say that subtracting a negative is the same thing as adding two positive numbers, or t adding a positive number. So instead of subtracting this negative 4, we can add a positive 4 and get the answer for 6. And that is the answer here. If you're still not convinced, think about a number line. You're starting at 2 and you're taking away negative 4. Well, taking 4 away would cause us to hop to the left, but we're taking away negative 4, so we go in the opposite direction and hop up 4 places to our answer, 6. Negative 2 minus negative 4, um, this is not 6. Let's look at what it is. We start at negative 2 now. Here's negative 2. Well, taking 4 away would tell us to go to the left in the negative direction. But we're in fact taking negative 4 away, so we go in the opposite direction. We hop up 4 units, and if we count, we hop up twice to 0, and then 2 more times to the answer, positive 2. So the number line helps us understand what is happening here. And another question I have is, why is it that um, negative 5 plus negative 7 equals positive 2? And they were, because I thought it should be negative 12. Well, I'm not sure where the miscommunication went, but absolutely, this should not be 2, this is negative 12. And the reason we can tell is because we're, we're adding two negatives, so first of all, we might use the strategy where when you sum up two negatives, the answer is always negative. And if you think about adding and what addition is, it's the combining of different groups and sets. So we're combining a bunch of negative value with some more negative value, so we're still stuck in negative value. And so if we have five negative ones and seven negative ones, altogether we have negative 12. That is the answer.